Hi, I'm Jeannie Bishop, a residential real estate broker here in the Los Angeles area, and I am going to cover the uh, real estate market statistics for the May closings. Um, so those are generally transactions that went into contract in April with a 30-day escrow to close in May. So the let's get into the numbers. Los Angeles County, the Median price month to month fell a little bit, about a percent and a half. Year to year, we are still over 9% for as compared to last year. The, for the sales volume month to month, we are up 11.5%, but year to year, we're down 2.6%. So the volume went up month to month, but not year to year, which is if it was uh, not a seasonal factor, it, it should have. So in Ventura County, the median price also fell a little bit, 1.6% year. Year to year, they are just about even, which means we gave up a lot of the gain that we have had in the last year in Ventura County. The sales volume month to month is up 6%, and year to year is down 2%. So now last month, Ventura County had a enormous step up. So it's not that surprising that they uh, could not continue at that same rate. Just so you know, when uh, we started the month, the mortgage rate was at 7.22%. It tipped down a little bit, but of course, as you know, we're having this little bit of back and forth. We have to get under seven and stay there. And if we were in the low six to six and a half, I think that would really help our sales um, very much. As you know, as you know, I am a big proponent of watching the general economic factors and um, the unemployment rate in Los Angeles County for May was just released and the seasonally adjusted rate was 5.3 percent which is uh, consistent with where it had been so we're not really making uh, uh, terribly much gain that in that area and sit well over the national average and then besides the overseas concerns especially China's real estate uh, market and the office space commercial real estate market in here in the United States. Um, one of the other things to pay attention to is California's deficit, which I was reading a number of articles and it all depends on what you read and who you listen to, whether it's 70 billion, 45 billion. But the other consideration is are those numbers before or after the governor has used the reserves, which I believe were about 17 billion. But um, consumer advocates were trying to get on the ballot a measure that would require a two thirds voter approval to increase taxes. And the current administration was challenging that in court, and it appears in the last couple of days that the court is um, upholding the challenge. And so if it remains that it is just a 50% voter approval needed to increase taxes, you really need to keep your eye on that because with these large deficits, we are going to see tax increases proposed um, in a number of different areas. So anyway, if you would like to discuss what's going on in the real estate market or anything, I would love to hear from you.